Welcome to another episode from Pulver Ostermannen and this tutorial guide of my latest project here which is a new tube amplifier I've been working on and uh, I've been building this from the bottom to the top so everything here is new and uh, the thing itself comes from an old radio that is from 1930s and I wanted to bring life to this specific radio again because it looks so cool because uh, it's this one up here and uh, I pretty much like the looks of it and uh, anything on there so I got this one pretty cheap because everything was broken it got these uh, old tubes in here and uh, yeah. someone thought this uh, machine here was a uh, wall powered machine because it was not it was a battery powered one and a cord that came out from it uh, required two volts and somebody probably put it into the wall socket with 220 instead so pretty much everything had exploded in the bottom of this radio here and uh, it was all rusty and everything so it was in very bad condition so it was quite a challenge to make this one work again and uh, I want to make everything on this one here be as original on the outside as possible so I have uh, used the original knobs here to bring out the most common parts of the operation here so this one here will be the uh, power button and it works you can turn it on and off by twisting this knob the radio tuning knob has now become the volume control and uh, I'm gonna keep this original dial map here which will uh, be between the needle and the light bulbs here so I put on bulbs here that uh, can light up from the back side and when tuning the radio here the needle will move and this will indicate the volume instead and this button here will be the speaker selection knob so I can switch between internal speaker, external speaker, both or off. Or both if I want to run this one as a pre-amplifier only. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I have uh, put in fuses and stuff everywhere here. And uh, this one is covered under the plastic because this one is the mains power input. So we got a fuse here and uh, the mains go directly in on this one here. And uh, here on the other side, which uh, we got here, is different knobs and uh, more fuses. So everything is uh, fused off in this one, the 6.3 volts, the mains, the 4 volt and the 300 volt is uh, all fused with the corresponding fuse. And uh, we got a switch here, which turns on and off the negative feedback and uh, this potentiometer here will adjust the level of this uh, audio return here so it can alter the sound and uh, how it sounds and uh, here on the top we got a special uh, function here i got a switch here which is a two-stage filtering option I put in this amplifier here so I can put this one on and it's uh, two optional stages of uh, filtering with the uh, capacitors and uh, resistors and uh, every power goes through it goes through these filters here so putting into a less home goes through two and putting it in power mode it goes through one filter stage and uh, I get uh, about 30 volts higher output voltage from this one and it will play even louder and down here on this side we got more switches and uh, this is for the uh, pentode output here and I got a switch here which uh, turns off or on the triode mode and the ultra linear one which is the uh, tapped output here on the output transformer which uh, is another one that was uh, original installed in this radio here and a normal pentode mode or the ultra linear mode. 
so I can switch these ones to make the corresponding sound and uh, alter the function of this amplifier. And down here we got a switch with a three level options here and it's for the input tube here. It goes uh, one stage power amplification and it goes through the first stage of this uh, pre-amplifier tube and boosting the signal and uh, off nobody uh, it will not have any boosts of any kind and uh, the high gain mode it will boost both of these triodes in this uh, pre-amplifier stage and uh, then the audio ne negative feedback will not work as well as with the uh, one stage or even none and what this switch does is uh, it is a coupling for the bypass capacitors for the cathode resistor. So it's uh, pretty simple but uh, very effective. So the tubes themselves. Here we got a large one and this is the rectifier and uh, it is a AZ1 or actually this tube is a AC11 which is the same tube but with a different socket so it's uh, converted. So uh, this is a Telefunken and uh, it's rather big difference in the size of this one so I, uh, these have the same capacity but the other one looks rather cool don't you think? So I wanted to go with that. And uh, this tube here in the middle is a 6N3C, a Russian tube and uh, it's uh, pretty likely the EL34 but with a little less uh, power and uh, this one here is a ECC85 I choose to make a converter socket here to make this amplifier more compatible and uh, be able to use more tubes because I got uh, pretty much of these uh, ECC85 and uh, they work very fine as a pre-amplifier stage as well so uh, I wanted to bring life to these tubes as well so I can make use from them but uh, the amplifier is also compatible with this uh, tube here and uh, this is the 8H8C tube and it will uh, fit directly down to this uh, socket here so just to switch, uh, switch them out and it will play directly and uh, I even could put in this like a really sore old uh, triode here which is uh, 12SL7GT it's a uh, too high voltage rating for this one is because it's a 12 volt filament but it will actually make sound anyway so it will run cold but yeah you may think it may take damage from it well it could be true but I don't care, this tube is really, really sore and old, so it goes for the little experimental and science instead of this one, because you can't see, hardly see, see through it anymore, so I don't really care. And this amplifier is also compatible with these. And it's a 6V6G, a really nice tube. I got two of these ones, so I got this one here and I got another one here and they are very similar in performance as well so uh, they are both very operational and uh, you can switch out this uh, power output tube here and there is a switch here on the side which is the adjustable bias for these tubes and uh, they are made with uh, cathode bias as well so it uh, it works very, very well as well, but uh, this 6v6 will put out somewhat more hum than uh, the other tube here and it will also have a little less performance because it's uh, rated with lo lower wattage, but it works very fine. And we can turn it on here on the side. Here we got the backside connectors, we got the speaker output and uh, there is a 5k resistance at 4 ohm speakers but it can uh, run with higher impedance if, if wanted as well. We got a low level signal input which is the sound input 
and also this pre-amplifier output if uh, I want to run some other kind of amplifier and stuff like that on this one it is possible so here are these the tubes on the back side looks very nice don't they I like this large and big tube here it really brings the old days back to life I think and I can turn off the light here you can see how nicely they glow and there is even a bit of fluorescent effect on this tube here but uh, it's not really visible on this camera here because it has a filter for it but it has a little purple purplish glow on the bulb itself so it looks very cool when it's operating but that's how it look and uh, it also sounds very good I have uh, adjusted the filters and everything on this one to make it more suitable for both tubes and uh, even the hum reduction and everything to make it sound uh, as good as possible and uh, the hum on this one is pretty much nothing at all even if this uh, transformer here is uh, only halfway rectified because uh, it's only got uh, two leads out from the 300 volt circuit here so it will be put in on the separate side here and the cables will be connected together nicely and firm when it's installed in the chassis but uh, it can be disconnected easily here by using this uh, connecting block if uh, it would need some kind of service some kind or some time in the future so it can be pretty good to have it there to make it easier to use and install it and stuff like that so I guess you wonder how it sounds and uh, as you can see it's on and even if it's quiet I don't think uh, that will be possible to hear any of the hum coming out from it because it really is not much and I have connected it one together with my old one up there so this is my old one it's a very nice one too and the speaker is right up there also pretty little hum in this one but this one actually got a little bit more because it's only having one stage of filtering before the high uh, impedance uh, resistor filters and stuff though so then this one got like a total of five filter stages before the uh, output tube gets the power there so a pretty good rectification and uh, filtering in this one here so but uh, it plays loud and proud and uh, I like it very much so I'm gonna put on and play some music with it and uh, you can hear how it sounds but before we do that I can show you the most hard part with this amplifier that I really had to grind my gears to get working and it was to make this uh, radio tuning potentiometer working so I had to install a potentiometer down there but how to connect this one here down to there it was trouble a lot of it too but uh, when tuning this one here goes and moves by uh, springs that returns it to zero position and when you higher the volume it tensions the little rope here that turns this uh, potentiometer down here so I think it will work over time as well but it was a really tough one to figure out how to make it work because you only get half a turn about uh, this uh, tuner here and the potentiometer moves quite a lot of my like one whole turn so I had to get the correct turn ratio and uh, also make it return and function every time so it was lots of trial and error there but it works now so pretty good okay enough chatting and uh, gets to playing hope you enjoy this and uh, too bad you can't hear the truth in the video because the recorded sound never gets so good but you will get 
pretty much the idea how well it actually sounds. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, have fun. fires working together very well sounds very well hope you enjoyed the video and thumbs up if you liked it have a nice day